Parental discretion is advised. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, are you enjoying the Wrestling Mayhem Show? Are you finding value in these conversations? Do you want to support it so we can become even bigger? Check out patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, it's the merriest of mayhems. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Ready to talk some professional wrestling with a group of people that are doing interesting things to action figures as I look into my mother monitor. Um, this is uh, Sorgatron, at Sorgatron on the Twitters, proprietor of all the things you see here. Yes, that's a dead owl behind me. Anyways, um, with me on the line is from Parts Unknown uh, with his dumpster computer is Papa Lunchbox. How you doing, sir? <laughs> dumpster computer? <laughs> was that the show we talked about that? It was a hamster. What? Not a hamster, a hamper. All good answers. All good answers. What? what? Show me potato salad. Well, I'm lost and we just started. <laughs> good job. Good job. Also with us from San Antonio, Texas. I have some questions to yik yak you later on, young young man. Amen. Amen from at Amen2, please, on the tweeters. And he's also commentator. Why do you call it the tweeters? NBA. I never understood Sorg is, that. Sorg is, is on so many mushrooms right now. Like, what? Gentlemen. What? Yeah. Guys, oh. I've been like in my Dumpster house. Computer. I've been in my house. Yeah. Guys, yeah. since I mushrooms. saw since I saw you guys here digitally here like this, I've had <laughs> no contact with other people than my wife for a my week. Wife. For like a week because I've been sick. I'm so excited. Hey, man, I'm so <laughs> excited to see you right now. I'm excited to see you too, buddy. You were, you were so sick that Buddy Landell got worried. I know. I know. I wasn't even on the tweeters myself. But he's on the he's tweeters. On the tweeters. Commentator for the NWA Inspire Pro down <laughs> in Texas and other cool things. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, so are you okay? And now, okay? I'm, and now, <laughs> I'm, now I'm out of breath. Now I'm out of breath. Oh, now I'm geez. out of breath. Um, somebody else who's probably at a loss for words is the Riz at the E Riz on the Twitter. He's it's, it's gonna be okay. He's hot. It's gonna he's, be okay. This guy's cat, great Khalid doll. It's gonna be okay. He's he's it's okay, it's Riz. It's okay. okay, Riz. We're apparently gonna do a little bit of therapy this week. Mm. It's okay, Riz. This is. Those noises are making, uh, uh, but noise. anyways, this is your wrestling okay. mayhem show. You can find out more about us and the other shows that we do. My face, because I don't know where it's been. At wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can please subscribe to us over on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, uh, and iHeartRadio, as well as YouTube for all the shows um, in video and audio forms. You can also drop us a line to that email address at Good Time Harmonious. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? Good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or the phone number 412 206 WMS0. Repeat that one more time, so because that was not even words that we said. Good times at wrestling mayhem show.com. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Um, or you can check us out. We're at mayhem show. <laughs> on, at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. <laughs> Wrestling Mayhem Show on Facebook, on the Facebook group, and Google+. Plus. Also, thanks to our patrons, our bosses. You heard at the beginning of the show, uh, patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can support us, too. And right now, so far, our supporters include the Wrestling Revolution.com, and as well as our friend of the show, Bo! Diggity! Woo! Wow. I, we're just starting the show, and I'm already out of breath. Um, so let's get started. The only way we know how, but give us stuff away! 
Yay! Well, yeah. well, well, we will give stuff Yay. away, but this is how we're going to do it. We 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 set a challenge out for you guys last week uh, for a copy, a digital copy of CM Punk Volume One, Best of in the IWC, um, best email of the week, and you guys delivered. We have emails. We got all kinds of emails, guys. Yeah, we got a couple. So many emails. So many emails. So we're going to roll through these and see which ones we like, see which ones get our thought provoking, see which ones are funny, and uh, dole out the prizes here uh, probably after the break. Uh, so, uh, first one up. Yes. I, mean, I, have I, I have it right here. I have it right <laughs> Who is here. It? Uh, uh, this one's or from or Alex it? Carr's Grumpy okay. Cat. More like Sleepy Cat. Hello, time Hello. presenters. Hello. It's your boy, Alex Cars, coming out of the woodwork with an email looking at the most important part of Raw last night. No, not the formation of Team Canada. Not the reveal of Pastor <laughs> E. Langston. It totally, does, that, that, it totally does not say Team Canada. It says Team Cena. Sure. Thor, 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 I, it would have been funnier like with Team Canada. I'm trying to help him out. Serious drugs right now? No, I'm talking about the big celebrity guest everyone fun. was ex- anticipating. Grumpy Cat. To quote Bobby F. G. Town on Boss Battle, here are some things you should be made aware of. Grumpy Cat is actually a female cat named Tartar Sauce. I think that's not even mm-hmm. spelled right. Uh, made no, famous not. for her grumpy appearance. Like, like yeah. That's how the cat's name is, right? Yeah, Tartar. Tartar. Yeah. With a D. With a name like that, I'd be grumpy too. According to her owner, the perpe- permanently grumpy expression is due to a feline dwarfism, which wow. is which is why why is this info is this why is this info important because of what happened on raw two segments in which she interacted quotes with a couple of the wrestlers she sat there looking grumpy as ever and even looked like she was falling asleep near the end and kept being referred to as a boy the whole time not only by the miz but by the commentary team who was finally corrected about her gender after the after the, but where she's, what? Yep, that no, that's well, literally that's how it's where, she, right. where she yeah. seems watch the eight man tag. Good job, I WWE. I'm feeling this email's not winning. Wow, <laughs> you're you you you've once again dropped the ball on a very important celebrity guest. I can't wait until next week when we no. get to see Miz being humiliated by Larry the Plumber guy. I decided this email. I dedicate this email to my friend Julie, a big fan of Grumpy Cat. <laughs> Who deserves an apology from WWE? Right, meow. Oh. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. All right. So Grumpy Cat happened last night. I, I was happy with Grumpy. I was I, honestly, I was excited for Grumpy Cat. Fuck all y'all that are uh, happy that I. You're uh, telling me that I you can... were pro 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 Grumpy Cat. I am. It's a cat. How can I'm glad you... to see you were pro something in it? It's just a cute cat. Like who cares? Like. You know, it, it, it's a cute cat. Um, I like cute cats. Uh, 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 LB, grumpy cat, uh, grumpy, or or just uh, mildly annoyed? Uh, I, I actually have a genuine problem with the whole grumpy cat thing. Um, and and I, uh, I apologize for uh, for bringing the show down, but uh, I think it's uh, it's bullshit the way the cat gets um, paraded out into public and... and um, it's uh, it, it's really shitty. I, I think they're they're being really shitty to that cat. It's just the uh, owners who th- found that their cat looked unique and decided to make some money off of it. I think it sucks. Do you think the cat uh, gets any perks out of it? I I hope that it does. I hope that the cat's treated well and you know they use the money that they're making to take care of the cat. But um, and and I'll admit I laughed uh, very heartily <laughs> when uh, grumpy cat just stared into the camera at the end of the, the, its first segment. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, the whole grumpy cat phenomenon. I think mm. it's shitty. Mm. Okay. Well, what about you, Riz? Um, I, I, it, it's better than next week. Let's, just, let's be fair on that one. Yeah. I'm what the, Larry the Campbell guy's a funny guy. I'm looking oh, at no, 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 officially lost his goddamn mind, ladies and gentlemen. He's hooked on mushroom, folks. He's hooked on mushroom. What? Larry the Campbell guy. Wrestling man. Overexposed, but he's a good comedian. No, he's not. Um, Incorrect. Incorrect entirely. Hmm. Anyways, uh, another email. 
Uh, this one from Jeremy, uh, actually uh, 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 asking some questions. Uh, what do you think of the implica- implications of Luke Harper and Eric Rowan Martin, being on opposite sides? Of t- <laughs> <laughs> it's a short one. I thought I could swing it. Nope. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan being on opposite sides of Team Authority versus Team Cena oh, will have. Will this spark a long time rivalry between them? Or should this be a one time thing? What do you guys think? I think it's ready to cut each other with words like we did last night. Go ahead, Eamon. I'm, I'm going to let you have it. Right, without well, getting I, as heated as I did it last night. No, I, I'll just say Which, which apparently not. Riz apologized to me for today, and I'm like, I didn't yeah, know something happened. There was lots of yelling, which you means that angry. I took my headphones <laughs> out and prepared angry. for the show. And then and then by the time I got down, you guys settled down and said, hey, who's doing the show with me? And that was it. No. So, anyways, no, what were your thoughts? A, a brief, summarized version of your thoughts on Rowan and uh, Harper. I, I, I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, revealing that Eric Rowan is one of the members of Team Cena, mainly from the fact that there's no beef. There's there's no beef between Harper and Rowan. Harper is sort of guided now, uh, assumedly being led by the authority, and you know has targeted Dolph Ziggler. Like that's his clear mo- motivation. Rowan's motivation is that he's been stalking Renee Young, and he's kind of doing a comedy s sort of thing. He has no issues with Luke Harper. There's, there's no reason, I think, to put him in this match other than we have the Wyatt family on each team. And, and I, I don't think it makes any sense whatsoever. It, I like it. I like it because it does give Eric Rowan something to do. He puts him in the – like when we were doing the, uh, the whole wrestling game show thing, which, by the way, you can catch on all the – uh, the Sorgatron Media outlets. Um, we discussed the fact that in the main event, Jim the Anvil Nightheart was on on one of the teams. In the main event, in the main event, which this is, Eric Rowan is Jim the Anvil Nightheart. It doesn't make any sense, and in, I know it's probably a week. It probably would be better if it was a week earlier. But I can still see this going somewhere, whether it's just them doing this one time, a one time thing, and then teaming them back up or maybe starting the rivalry for the IC title until, you know, Bad News Barrett comes back. It's it's something for them to do. I, I would love to see Eric Rowan and Luke. I, Harper I think I think you guys are both missing. The bigger point and the entire reason we have Rowan in this match is the ginger exchange program because Sheamus got hurt. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Like, yeah. here's the, but here's the thing. My, my, it's not, I don't say, I, I don't think it doesn't make sense because Eric Rowan's in the main event. Let Eric Rowan be in the main event. He's a great wrestler. My, my thing is that he has no issues with Luke Harper. He has no issues uh, with the authority. He has, he has it, was no surprise. it was supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. the, point, the point is, no, it was let, supposed let. to be a surprise. And so you're upset because they didn't telegraph it beforehand. I'm sure they're yeah. going to come out eventually, and he'll explain why he decided to uh, team up against his brother. And team with John Cena. Yeah. Is that what's well, really upsetting you, noticed, you? Are you actually upset because he's teaming with John Cena? Uh, I, uh, the fact that any members of the Wyatt family, the fact that any members of the Wyatt family are teaming with John Cena is kind of weird to me. Yeah. Have you seen the team that John Cena has made? Yes. John Cena doesn't have good, you know, ideas of how to form a team. We've established that from last week when he helped nobody after they were getting He did attacked. at some point say, man, I hope everything turns out all right. Like, that's his, like, hope is his team uh, making philosophy. But here's the thing. Uh, the You mentioned, like, that whole, like, surprise thing, LB. You know what would have been a really good surprise? That they I mean, almost oh, did? wow. You, you want something that was specifically tailored to you no! to happen more than what I actually happened. If you're sense. so upset about this, why aren't you more upset Listen, about Ryback? I, I'm, because Ryback fought John Cena in the past. And I am very him. upset. No, I am very upset about that. That just fought him in the past. Spine bustered him the week before. <laughs> that makes okay. no sense. No sense whatsoever. My thing is, it's not, I'm not saying Cesaro should be in it because I love Antonio Cesaro or whatever. 
I'm saying it because it makes sense. But the, the, I think surprise rarely makes sense. That that's a it can. It, it right. very much can. can. All right. On that point, that but, that that email made Riz and Eamon very angry. I'm yeah, making a note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sitting on that button again. Sorry about that. Hey yo, who wants the next email? Because I'm not allowed to read anymore. I, you're not. You're no. Nope. Hey, how about you, LB? What you want? Okay. What is this? There is a man dressed as a bunny, dry hump, raping another man in the middle of the ring. <laughs> we dry hump on Monday nights, Maggle. Maggle. No, this is wrong. Then we got a grown man trying to talk to a cat, trying to talk business with a cat. A cat. Then a highly irreverent, unnecessary swerve with Cesaro, not to mention some weird decisions like putting a title on someone who can't defend anyway at the pay-per-view. Rowan turning face hours after trying to steal a cat again. A cat. Seamus gets taken out just because. Oh, and Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, I'm sorry. Larry that something guy is a guest hosting next week. Yet Impact is the show getting canceled. In the words of Professor Farnsworth, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. This is Zero 2K urging you to watch Lucha Underground. Zero. <laughs> I think that's a very appropriate message, considering. It was very weird, Raw. Yeah. It was. And everybody really should go seek out Lucha Underground. They are very good things. I watched the first and episode. They should. And they and should. everybody should watch Impact. Uh, no, you this should. week. Wow, this week. you still can. Well, you still can't. They announced it's anything yet? last week to watch <laughs> Impact Live. Let's and get the ratings super high like right in there last week. <laughs> <laughs> See what you're going to miss, Spike TV. Um, good luck, Destination America, or whatever gets this. Which half the people have. Wow. that's It's, it's going to be like like finding Impact TV if it's going to go to one of these networks that, that's rumored. Because it's not going to another USA or AMC or something. It's going to somewhere mm. tiny. It's yeah. going somewhere where, do I get that? You know? <laughs> or what are the house shows going to be like then? You know? Um, I oh. And I don't think they're smart enough to work it to their advantage like a Lucha Underground. So, I don't know. Um, I think I can take this one, guys. You can? Oh. You okay? How, how, how do you... Fess- how, shit. Nope. nope fellow. Howdy, fellow. <laughs> Howdy, fellow wrestleaholics. It's your buddy. It's your old buddy, Mad Mike, in the middle of a 12 hour shift at work. And I have a couple questions for you. Um, number one, for those who watch Lucha Underground, how are they able to make Chavo Guerrero the most compelling heel on TV in three weeks? Um, magic. I, I, magic. Good Black booking. Magic. Um, didn't he, didn't he hit a girl with a with a steel chair? That'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it. Um, number two, what is uh, nobody else watches Lucha Underground here, so we're just. I, I, I haven't followed it as extensive. No, no, I haven't caught. I haven't caught up with it. I want to really bad. I've heard, but, the, I've heard the basis of what's been. Oh happening. yeah, I've been hearing really good things. Um, what is the thing that you are going to miss most about TNA? For me, it's little things like Scott Steiner doing math and being on a pogo stick. I, um, I yeah, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss Don West. Yeah, I, I mean, I, but I, I already miss Don West. I, I mean, if it goes away, I'm gonna miss like a, I I want to miss the idea that I can like people that we know are on primetime TV. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. like saying, hey, you know, hey, Zima's on TV in primetime on a network you've heard of, mm. which is not gonna be the case coming up here you know mm-hmm. um seeing you know people legitimately having another place to get a job outside of wwe for better or for worse they're getting a paycheck guys of some sort right so for now yeah. and if they came from wwe they're probably getting a better paycheck than anybody else so um anybody else what are you what are, what are you gonna miss lb you, you you've watched tna we've been on the roller coaster what are you gonna <laughs> miss about it uh, it's not going to change too much for me. Uh, I'm going to miss the same thing I've been missing the entire time. And that's the good stuff. The early days, the back when it was, uh, all fun and new and exciting and wasn't WCW redux. And then just a shambling zombie after that. Yeah. Amen. Oh God. I don't know. I really don't like, especially like now the, the people I care about watching on TNA will probably 
get extensive work on the independents, so it's not like I'm missing them that much. Um, I don't know. I, I I liked something that had you know that had like you said that you know spot on TV and that had like a bit of production value. Like you know, it's it's nice to have more of those. Yeah. You know? And we're all missing the uh, the real answer here. Ethan the Carter the third. Oh my God! Yes. Well, he's well, he's the one I I, I kind of mean as far as I think he will do fine on the end. I mean, get a lot of more. I'm gonna miss him. I will miss. I'm him. gonna miss him in his. In fairness, in fairness, we'll we'll have to miss him anyway since he's apparently out for six months. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Ciro's in the chat room says I'm gonna miss good wrestling programming on TV each week. Dot 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 dot. A cat. <sighs> wow, really? Yeah. The cat's the worst part, Ciro. Come on. He, he was really, he was really put off by that cat. Really, really put off by that cat. Um, and lastly, from Mad Mike, if uh, Team Cena would have a Soul Survivor win, who would benefit the most from it? John Cena. John Cena. Oh, Cena. Cena. Cena wins. Cena. You know how sad. You know how sad last night was. Uh, because they basically the the graphic that they had for the Survivor Series match, they kept showing like this Team Cena members slowly disappearing. <laughs> that was so great. To, to the point, it was just John Cena against eleven other people, and and our first thought was, Cena's probably going to do it on his own. Yeah, I he, love I loved how he's surrounded <laughs> by the people, and then they just all four went. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, they did it different ways. Can they fade away the first time, like like the picture from Back to the Future, pretty much, <laughs> where his family like fades away? It's just like, wait, what's happening? But here? it also because the the graphic for Team Authority didn't just include the five members of Team Authority; it included them, Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Danny like, Noble. Anybody, so it was like literally they Ron were is in there people. for no reason. So they were facing like twenty people. So, so it's it, the let's be honest. They're taking on all these guys. There's five guys in the ring, but there's all these guys. You know, I, I said it during the contract signing. Everyone in that ring is getting AA. Mm. They are <laughs> on top of each other. Mm. And here's the thing: I think all the eliminations that he, uh, John Cena, mentioned are going to happen in that order. Mm-hmm. I forget what the order was, but it's going to be in that same know, exact order. I know Kane's getting out first. Oh, yeah. Uh, but but to answer the question, since we kind of um, went, off, went off track here, either I, – I don't – I think Ryback would probably benefit more than anybody out there, and maybe second would be Rowan. Okay. Because of the fact that, you know, Eamon doesn't like him. Yeah, that, that, that's what you got from it, that I don't like Eric Rowan. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, you don't like Eric Rowan? Oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, well, I think a Ziggler soul survivor would be good for him. But he's kind of the guy that he put in that spot just to be the guy that fizzles out at the end, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like Santino in the Royal Rumble. Oh, he's he almost got it, and we all believed in him. But of course, it's Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Randy Orton not a part of this officially. But I'm, I'm still not ruling that motherfucker out. <laughs> no, no, you could have an injury. You could have like Rowan could just disappear, and uh, and and Orton fills in the last minute, right? Mm-hmm. Right. What was it, which it was a hell in the cell match, I think it was, or some or a, a elimination chamber where Kofi had a slot, and who was it? Edge that just beat him yeah, up Edge. on his way to the ring and just got mm, in the ring. Edge had lost his title in the first elimination chamber of the night, so he took out Kofi and got into the other one for the other title and won that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit doesn't matter. It's, it's whoever's in the ring. Yeah. Well, also, if we want to talk about logistics for wrestling matches, technically there was no contract signing last night. Yeah, nobody signed the contract. Thank you. I'm not the only one that noticed that. So we have no main event for Survivor Series, technically. I think that was officially the worst contract signing. That was the most disastrous because the contract didn't get signed. Yeah, they at least get that far. 
He gets signed in blood or something, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Speak. Uh, well, first of all, let's finish this off. Um, <laughs> you were going to say, speaking of blood, <laughs> we'd like to thank uh, Pizza on Broadway. That's it for me. Congrats like, to whoever wins the best of Phil Brooks. Since apparently I'm not eligible, Sorg sent from my iPad spoken in German. What? <laughs> okay. Um, hey, shout out to our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com. I'm glad I got away from that segue, I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> great pizza uh, right up the street here in Broadway, here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, you can go check them out. Some great gourmet pizza, and they also have a second location down in Carnegie, PA. Maybe you can see that exit uh, on your way out uh, to the airport. Go check them out. They support the shows. They support podcasting. And uh, tell them that you heard about them on the Wrestling Mayhem show. So let's get back to the emails in this contest of contests of emails. Um, <clears throat> we have one from Matt Carlin. We do have one from Gra- Matt Carlin. Eamon, would you like that one? Uh, I will sure take that. Yeah, I'll, 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 take, I'll take the load off for you. Some stuff. Please. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo. Good evening, WMS crew. John Cena. I don't know the man, but I hate the TV character. While Team Authority is out in numbers at ringside, Cena sits backstage while his teammates are obliterated. What would Bruno do? Hogan, Sting, actually Hogan would kind of do the same thing. Seriously, how can Cena the man allow his character to, be, to behave this way? Why can't he flex some creative control? I'm left to assume he's this evil in real life. Raw is killing me lately. What's even worse, it's no longer appointment TV. I can skip in and watch five minutes of YouTube videos the following morning and be totally caught up. My buddy at work does the same thing to keep up with days of our lives. Watch the beginning and the end of his DVR. Done. Couple more questions. I keep hearing rumors that Sunday could be AJ Lee's net last night in WWE. Who will you miss more, AJ Lee or TNA Impact? Ooh, that's a good one. Wow, uh, AJ Lee. Definitely AJ I, Lee. You know what? I'd go with TNA. Wow. Just Tom because <laughs> he has great abs. Yeah. LB? AJ. Yeah. Far more entertaining. Hmm. I'm kind of in between too, but not for like, not for like. I love them both. It's because like I don't. Uh, which one do I have? To, which one's poster do I like better on my wall? <laughs> Again, EC three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he also says, "I'm fired up for what Global Force is doing with New Japan. Is anyone else on board?" Yeah, I mean, I'm all. <laughs> Amen, you're I, the one that would be. I, I like it. I, I'm, I'm glad. I think JR doing commentary. I don't know if we talked about this mm-hmm. last week. Uh, I'm sure JR doing commentary is going to you know, stir some interest from people. So Certainly. Hey, it's, hey, put, put that JR touch on it, I think, is going to be the perfect thing. Um, mm-hmm. and, and maybe bring some people's interest to it. I so. am super worried about his pronunciations of people's names. Oh, geez. But oh, um, other than that, I'm excited. Wow, but yeah, he, I, he, I, oh, go ahead, LB. I was gonna say I, I think uh, I think normally I would understand that, but I think Jr. Uh, he's a pro and he's got something to prove because he hasn't necessarily announced uh, for quite a long time. So I really true. think he's gonna study the shit out of those uh, names. He did MMA once. Yeah, hmm. he did some MMA, and I think he, he I think he called, might have called some football or something too. So, I mean, he's been around. I mean, not, not that he's been regularly doing it or anything, but you're right. Right. So. But, yeah, he, he ends up with hugs and kisses, grumpy Matt <laughs> from my iPhone. So. All right. We got one more here. Uh, we got one more here. And uh, I, I, I know this is something I think we want to talk about a little bit from what's been coming up on Raw. And it happened in a big way last night uh to the wms nation uh, today i watched the promo on biggie langston acting like a church pastor it seemed like the perfect fit but the promos for the new day uh seemed complete first xavier kofi and now biggie did vince and Pr- did vince the prince go go what? to black churches to re- re- research the new stable the uh, no sword? no no wow um but no it, so 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 the, with the new day promos I've been going on this from Pierre K aka Mr. Uh, Techwood Drive. Um, so uh, hopefully we see this debut soon next week. Uh, but the new day promos with Kofi, uh, Xavier, and uh, Biggie. Uh, I thought Biggie's was awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm, still, I'm still super nervous. We used, well, I don't know what they're going to do as a faction though. 
Huh. Like, like the, the, the introductions have been interesting, but do you think it's going to be this still like kind of new nation kind of idea? In the 90s, the nation of domination, that was what they were back in the 90s. Yeah. This is like our version of this. Yeah. It's lighter. It's it's the lighter, and it's it, it does uh, harken back to uh, the current scene in America right now, if you think about it, because all there's no real you know nation of domination type groups out there right now. Okay. There are people out there who are like what they're they're doing with the new day, and there's people fighting for what they think is right with you know, preaching and all that stuff. And I think this is a good change from, oh, they're just going to be the new nation of domination. They're going to be, it's going to be Dr. X and, and Kofi and Big E. No, it's going to be a fun faction and I'm going to enjoy it. I have a question. I, 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 go ahead, Obi. Obi? I, <clears throat> did we, um, did, was it reported somewhere that they were going to be the new nation, or did we just decide that because they're all black guys in a faction? Yeah. Yeah, that's... Like, I, was they, us. I, I feel like nobody actually said they're going to be the new nation. They just said they're going to be in a stable, and we're like, oh, they're the new nation because it's black guys. But yeah. the way they were... Pull, right, but but also, but the, the way they were pulling together, because they did do some stuff on TV and say, you know, like like Xavier coming up to them and say, hey, you're getting screwed over, you know, let's do things our way or something like that, right? Like, I, and it, I, the but, ideal end to this, ha- the, the ideal debut, I should say, has to be them coming out and pulling sort of, bas- basically, they pull a Brutus Clay in where you expect one thing and then they come out and it's a completely different thing. And the completely different thing is them just being like, you know, we came up in the WWE as every other black wrestler in the WWE, which is a stereotype. And yeah. we're sick of being stereotypes, and we're just going to be guys. I, I think that's the only way they can do it. Okay. And then okay. R-Truth just dances in front of them. Yeah. Right. And, and it's slowly. Like, it, it's no lie that, you know, it, it's every black wrestler has been stereotyped in some way or another. Xavier Woods' entrance theme is the third time that entrance theme has been used by a black wrestler, and he was given a dancing gimmick. You know, Kofi Kingston was automatically paired as this Jamaican person, and, and then he was from West Africa. Like, like it's, it's, you know, it's very obvious. Um, and I feel like the promos are so over-exaggerated to where it has to be that. It has to be them just coming out and being like, hey, this is what you want us to be. Fuck that. A lot of it, I think, has been we've been kind of looking for the new date nation for years, especially on this podcast. So, like, seriously, and LB is completely right. How not only with this stable, but like, how many times have like when people we talk about stables or or groups of people, we like let's take all these black people and make a nation of domination. (laughs) Like, like it it is discussed a lot, and it shouldn't be discussed a lot. It's a long way since the bikers and the Bariquas and uh, and yeah. the Truth oh, Commission were having gang wars in Survivor Series, right? Yeah, because that was a thing that happened. That was a thing that happened. That was certainly a thing that happened. So uh, on that note, guys, uh, we'll take a little break. Hey, thank you for everybody who uh, who emailed us here this past week. Uh, we're going to take a moment here. We'll, we'll declare a winner in this email war. And, uh, and I'll get a link out to you guys in the next day. Uh, for next week, new contest. Tell your friends about us. Best tweet pointing your friends on Twitter uh, to the show with the hashtag. Uh, hashtag get WMS. Uh, gets the best of AJ Styles Volume 2, a recent release uh, from uh, PittsburghWrestling.com uh, as a digital download. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, uh, go check out PittsburghWrestling.com. we got a lot of stuff going on. Includes, uh, links are all up for the most recent RWA Salute to the Troops 2 featuring uh, Hurricane Shane Helms and a great match with uh, Sanjay Dutt. Uh, versus Shane Andrews for the Cruiserweight Championship. Friends of the show like Sarah Feeney in women's action, uh, defending her women's belt as well. Uh, and uh, 
Combat in Clearfield 7 is also up there, including 99 cent matches. You can check out friend of the show. We talked to last week, Asylum, telling us about uh, his time as the doctor for Paul Heyman and getting kendo sticks from CM Punk on Monday Night Raw, uh, as well as his recent stint down at the Performance Center in that uh, 10 minute video that came around where they had a bunch of people going on to the Performance Center and trying out. Um, go check out all that stuff, PittsburghWrestling.com and also Vicious Outcast Wrestling. Some great shows. They're having Rhino coming up here uh in in the area uh coming up in december they've had a bunch of great shows with guys like gold dust um guys like devon dudley like sabu and a great uh uh barbed wire no holds barred match uh just a few months ago at some september sin uh all that pittsburgh wrestling.com and we'll be back after uh, these couple of messages with remember when and your contest winner Welcome back, and please check out all that stuff at PittsburghWrestling.com. Our winner for this week, we put our heads together, we pontificated over all your emails. And, and then we put our actual heads together. And then we actually put our heads together and heard through through Google Hangout. Oh, and yeah. the winner of this week is, and the winner of the Best of CM Punk Volume 1 is Alex Cars. Uh, particularly because he set us straight on the uh, grumpy cat and LB, your your big reason. I I really enjoyed the ending of uh, right meow. Right meow. So now you know what kind of stuff gets our gets our attention. Um, no, no. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you to uh, uh, Jeremy and Ciro and uh, Mad Mike and uh, Matt Carlins and uh, PRK for all emailing this week. And remember our contest for this week. Use the hashtag, uh, hashtag uh, uh, get WMS and let your friends know about the show. The uh, best tweet uh, will get a uh, best of AJ Styles Volume 2 from PittsburghWrestling.com. So now we dive into the second half of the show and our favorite segment. Remember when? Hmm. <laughs> Remember when? Very Seinfeldian of you. Yeah, was that Seinfeld you just did? <laughs> it was a little Seinfeld inspired, I will admit. Yes. <laughs> Guys, this weekend, of course, is the second longest running pay per view in WWE history that you all get for free. No, nope. we don't. No, we, no, I guess we don't. Because nope. we already pay for WWE Network. Because no. we're good little. WWE fans like that, I guess. If you don't have it on WWE. If you don't have the WWE Network, you can get it for free, though. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, the, the Survivor the Series this weekend, so I thought we'd go around the table. Hey, Bobby F. J. Town's here. Hi, hey, Bobby F. J. Town. Hey, he's I, built, joined us. I built a roller coaster while I was listening to the show. I don't. Coaster. Wow, you need to listen to Boss Battle this week. Um, one nineteen. It it gets interesting. Um. Anyways, uh, Survivor Series is is this weekend, so well, let's go around the horn. What are your favorite? Survivor Series moments over the years. Eamon, I'm sure you got plenty. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, I really liked, maybe it's because I first got, because it's around when I first got into wrestling, was uh, I like Survivor Series 2003. I think it's kind of an underrated one. Um, They had the uh, Steve Austin versus Eric Bischoff Survivor Series match that I think is really good. Uh, it had uh, some really good stuff on there. It had the very alive match with Taker and Vince. Where Vince <laughs> blades like 10 seconds into the match and just starts bleeding everywhere. 
Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's kind of what sticks out for me. Awesome. What about you, LB? Nope, come back to me. Oh no! What about <laughs> what about you, Riz? You don't get that privilege. All right, let me see here. Um, I want to say, Bobby, you can go next. You can go next. Oh, thanks, thanks. Um, I'm gonna go with the gobbledygooker. Oh no, that's your favorite. Oh, no. That is my favorite moment because it was such an utter disaster. Buddy Landell, you know, Buddy Landell's liking that in the chat room too. I gotta say, uh, when I rented that VHS tape of Survivor yeah. Series. Everyone like expected it to be like for some reason they're like oh it's gonna be the Undertaker. Why would the Undertaker come out of an egg? Yeah. <laughs> what? What were you expecting? It was an egg. What new superstar was gonna be like? Oh, I'm in an egg. I'm, I I'm watched awesome. I watched the majority of that pay per view um over my 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 stupor the last week um and they kept calling it a Brontosaurus egg like to begin with. That was Brodus Clay. <laughs> I think I think what they were if I'm not mistaken uh I thought Mantar was supposed to come out of there and then they just changed it up to maybe it should have been Man Mountain Rock <laughs> That would have made more sense I don't know Well the trivia you guys know the trivia of who was under the Gobbly Gooker outfit yeah, right Yeah it was one of the Guerreros Hector Hector, right? Hector Guerrero Hector. Who was the the commentator on TNA? Yep. Who mm. looks like Eddie? Who like, looks exactly pretty like much Eddie. like Eddie? Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 LB, LB, you got one yet? I do. I do have one, Sork. Uh, okay, so SummerSlam nineteen nine, not SummerSlam Survivor Series nineteen ninety three. What a mess of a pay per view. <laughs> um, I remember it specifically because it had uh, two posters. Uh, one for faces and one for heels, and they're both attacking turkeys that are dressed up like the opposing country or whatever. Um, <laughs> it was it was one of the first times they uh, they really tried to sell it as a Thanksgiving tradition, and they abandoned that I think the very next year. Um, and uh, the people who were on the poster, I think maybe twenty percent of them actually appeared on the pay per view. It kept getting switched around. Uh, this was also the year that you had uh, the Hart family versus. Um, Shawn Michaels and a bunch of guys in knights costumes um, because they were supposed to fight Jerry Lawler, but he didn't show up for some reason. Uh, apparently because of statutory rape accusations. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh my god. I yeah, no yeah, I, I just read that. When I, was like, <laughs> when I was reading yep. up on some history of Survivor Series um, um, that popped up. You wow. got Bill Cosby. We all did. Uh, and then after the main event ended, uh, Lex Luger, of course, was triumphant and celebrated in the ring with Santa Claus. Oh, of what? That's of who you course. celebrate. Fucking hate. Fucking hate this mainstream America always, always bringing in Christmas earlier than it needs to be. Hey, hey, we don't Matt. have a war on Christmas here on the Mayhem Show. <laughs> or on Hanukkah. Uh, or on whatever. We're culturally sensitive. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you don't know the name of it, do you? They are attacking oh, the holidays. hell out of the I'm turkey. Listen, on... I'm on so many wow. drugs. You're lucky I remember your name. <laughs> a Festivus for the rest of us. Oh my! Wow. Um, now you know I, I was always big into the Survivor <laughs> Series at, for the Survivor Series matches, right? As I think you guys did initially, right? I mean, mm-hmm. that's the reason for it, right? Um, and, and I kind of wished, you know, we got more than just one Survivor Series match every year. Uh, but, uh, but still one of my most memorable ones was, uh, when I was getting back into WWE, WWF pay-per-views, um, and the, uh, Deadly Games, uh, I think it was 1998 when they had the tournament for the vacant title. And, uh, that's when The Rock turned. Uh, the Rock turned on Mankind, who was supposed to be the corporate champion, and he became the new corporate champion. And and it, it was the big heel turn for The Rock. Um, it, maybe it was ninety. No, it had to be ninety. No, it was ninety eight because it was the year after Bret Hart went down with ninety seven. He he won it with the sharpshooter. They mimic. It was w- the first of many times they would mimic the Montreal screw job. <laughs> Many times, many, 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 many times. Um, so uh, that, that I actually watched. I actually watched that show not too long ago. Yeah. Um, uh, the storyline of Rock Turning is very, very good. Yeah. Um, not a good show. 
No. Mainly, I think, because there was, I think, 14 matches on that show. Wow. Because you had tournament matches, and then you had a bunch of other matches, too. Wow. Wow. I mean, that was the year where, like, I was not upset they didn't have Survivor Series matches, right? Because, I, oh, it was, and it was also presented by Nestle Crunch that year. And they also <laughs> had a great theme song. It was a daily game. I have, was, I have one quick thing. What? What's that? What's look, that, Bobby? Look how much fun British Bulldog is having in this picture. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Teaming with the Mean Street What's Posse. The mean Street Posse. One of my, like, Probably my favorite faction of all time. British Bulldog look like looks like he's about to pass. Look out. how much fun he's having. It looks this, like he's must be, this must be when he was on the drugs. Yeah, sadly. But look how much okay. fun he's having. Though. All right, I got one now. Okay. And I actually watched this. Uh, I think it was on Sunday. Uh, one of the Sundays I was watching it. Uh, but it was in the 1990 Survivor Series. And it was the Vipers promo that they did, where it was Jake Roberts, Jimmy Snuka, and the Rockers, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. And they are they are with Mean Gene Okerlund in the showers. Because <laughs> like, that's where Damien likes it, right? I, I guess. Uh, and and this is the second time we've seen Shawn Michaels having his – having, looked like he just got out of his like coked out state (laughs) because his face when he's just standing there looking around is just amazing he's looking like he just saw damien for the first time (laughs) Uh, mean gene's probably having like he's he's probably looking at him like he, he his face is damien coming out of him uh but just that promo alone trumps the Undertaker's debut. If if you guys want to see that uh, promo, go ahead and YouTube it somewhere. It's it's <laughs> it's it's a thrill. Um, it's a thrill. There was I yeah I watched through a lot of the early Survivor series and those the, I love the team up uh, promos. Um, the Ultimate Warrior Legion of oh Doom made absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> for instance. Um, anyways, uh, let us know your remember when on, on Survivor Series. Hope you guys enjoyed the show this weekend. We'll talk about it here in a moment. In the meantime, check out podcamppittsburgh.com. Uh, several of us will be uh, involved or around around there. Uh, the big, we've been involved with Podcamp Pittsburgh since, since the early days. This is now the ninth edition of it this year. Um, I'll be there teaching some video podcasting as well as doing a live edition of, of Awesome Cast uh, Sunday at 2 p.m. Uh, so go please check all that out at podcampusberg.com. It'll be streaming. And of course, video will be up uh, afterwards as well. Uh, so uh, let's get into uh, Survivor Series coming up this weekend. We talked a little bit about Team Cena, Team, uh, team Authority. I mean, are you guys... I don't know. I, I, I'm still... I, I think it's a really I love the bad guys on this one. Um but what are are you guys pleased with what we ended up with with Team Cena? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's some interesting components. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Okay. It's Amen. Besides besides what we talked about. Uh, I'm fine um, with it's it. Very weird. Like I it, the way that they all came together, it's it's very very weird. Uh, and uh, I will bring up a, a theory that I would have loved. What I would love to happen that uh, I think Brandon Stroud brought up was that basically everybody who is on Team Cena has had issues with Cena in the past, and, and some some in the most recent past. I love the idea that they all just turn on him in the beginning, and then it's uh, like a fifteen on one beatdown. <laughs> I, 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 it, it would never happen. But. What, what I was thinking about with uh, Rowan, he's kind of has the mentality of a, a child. Um, maybe he's just like a big fan of Cena. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why. I don't know. Also, my theory is that Cena, in, in the theory of like Cena being a heel, bribed Rowan to basically get him closer to Renee Young, which is not cool, John. He gave him that cat. It's like it's basically if we're comparing it to the TNA storyline. If Gunner one week was just like, "Hey, if you be my tag team partner, Sam Shaw, I'll get you to Kirstie Emmy." 
I think that did happen once. Yeah, it probably yeah. did happen. In real life, too. <laughs> gross. Oh, wow. <laughs> really gross. Well, right now, at this point, we have, am I right, five announced matches for this? I think so. so they I, added another one today. So yeah. They added another Survivor Series? Yep, not another Survivor Series match with Divas. Oh. oh yeah. No. Yeah, you want to hear what it oh, is? Oh no, I just no, saw no. it. Okay, what is it? What is it, Bobby? Um, give me one second. Good I, job. I, thought was, I gotta hear. I thought it was on that page. I thought it was on that okay. page. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. It is Alicia Fox, oh. Natalia, Naomi, and Emma versus Paige, Cameron, Summer Rae, and Layla. In a Survivor Series match? In a traditional Survivor Series elimination. So, so Survivor so Series it'll be, Total Diva. Four on, four four on four. Four. So it'll be like last year's Diva Survivor Series when participants got eliminated from taunts. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Ugh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No. Would it be like, great I, if they I, had... I, to, answer, to answer your question, Sorg, I would like more. I, I like I I I enjoyed nineteen nineties the early nineties when they had team names. I wanna see that again. I want team names. I don't want Team Cena versus Team Authority. I want the visionaries. I the, want <laughs> the visionaries. I want the warriors again. I want something like that to happen. Um I, I want this 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 uh fatal four way match to actually to be a survivor series match. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. there's there's a lot of themes there. I mean, we really kind of got it on 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 Monday, I guess, when they had a tag team match. But um, but I mean, the full survivors get the tag team titles. I mean, it'll be fun, but it's not. You know, that's that's we won our old survivors. Why why can't they have the old survivor series? Because they have enough Vince, people. Because yeah, Vince people. doesn't allow that anymore because he didn't like that pay per view to begin with. Really? Is that the is that the yeah. word? Yeah, Vince said he did, didn't. He never liked the idea of the traditional Survivor Series matches. Remember bragging rights? Yeah. So we did bragging rights. But that was one fall, so that's different, I guess. Yeah, yeah I it's guess different. So. But yeah, I, I, the, the, some of the matches look interesting. Others don't. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I mean, we we do have a four way uh, uh, tag match. Um, I, what these teams deliver, uh, whenever oh, we yeah. get on pay per views, even if you get bored of their matches in the meantime, um, I don't know what to expect from that elimination match, uh, with the divas. And of course we got, uh, AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella. Uh, mm-hmm. do we play the, uh, do we play the, it's been a month and, uh, Brie turns on her or the next night is this the last night that we're going to see AJ Lee for instance? I, I like the idea of Brie turning. Yeah. Just like at the what do you mean like turning on, turn or no, yeah turning and and joining her sister pretty much. Oh okay okay yeah. She was yeah, they, she was the heels. evil twin. She was the evil twin all along. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, they've been heels in the past, right? Yeah, it wouldn't be surprising. Am I remembering though. properly? I mm-hmm. that, that really would be surprising though. To me, um, Bree is N- Nikki's Hugo. What what's that? Bree is Nikki's Hugo from The Simpsons, <laughs> <laughs> but she's the good one. Hmm. The the belt's gonna have to eventually go on to Nikki because there's gotta be there's nothing for them to you know to do unless they want to unless they want to have six more months of this like with the like they did with AJ Page which I hope they don't do but like there's no one else that can take that spot as being a, a title challenger hmm. I don't think yeah, karma and of course we'll yeah karma Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt's gonna happen as well. I'm excited for that match. That should be good. I'm yeah. really excited for that match. The build-up is great. Those two are going to just beat this crap out of each other. And it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be done. It's going to be awesome. But. No, there's no buts in this. No, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence. I, I think it has every potential to be awesome. I think it does have a potential to not be as awesome. I would not be surprised with whatever ending will parlay into a TLC match. Yeah. But, I feel like that's the thing. I feel like this is not going to have a clean ending. And I'm not just talking in the sense of the DQ. I'm talking in the sense of, like, crazy magic ending. Voodoo magic, yeah. because uh, I mean, there's a lot of things been put on the table with the way they've been going with this, and a lot of questions and no answers, and I don't know. Um, Brave, can uh, can we be honest here? 
Bray, Bray Wyatt's losing it for me. Really? I'm not captivated um, by him at all. Are you tired of his rambling promos every single week? Because they're very rambling. Because they're rambling, and and there's points in there somewhere, but man, I think really are, there, there's not enough uh, cool action, cool weirdo hey, action. You do, you do not like it, the right? Wyatts. I don't. I I like Luke Harper. I love Luke Harper. I'll tell you that much. But um, I just feel like he's really just kind of like I don't. I used to like sit and pay attention to his promos and just be absorbed in them. And I don't do that anymore. Like they, they aren't captivating to me anymore, you know, and that's kind of a lot of what Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt relied on. I thought he was a bad wrestler, but that's his thing. And I don't know. It's just, it's not doing it for me. Hmm. Then what would, what would you like change Damon? I just would like a purpose. Like I, I guess they're trying to find a purpose, but it's he cuts so many promo. Like he, he'll literally cut a promo every week. Uh, sometimes you know twice a week if we count SmackDown, and it gets to the point where he, sh- you can tell he's just sort of filling in for material. Yeah, that's the only thing. The only thing I don't like is they're doing another. They're, they're starting over with another angle for him, mm-hmm. uh, and he is lost against John Cena. He lost against Jericho for, and nobody knows for sure why that even happened. He he, uh, he exchanged wins with Jericho like that. Yeah. was it. That and, was- and now he has an. He, he came back from his new. You know, he, he broke apart from the Wyatt family and because became Bray Wyatt, and to go into a feud with Dean Ambrose, who is who his who is his like. If you're, if you're, yeah, and it, but that's why I think this is gonna be good though, because it's, it's like wrestling in the mirror. It's like wrestling a mirror. It's I, also, the same I, also, guy. I, I just don't feel like he even properly explained why he let Harper and Rowan go. Like I don't feel like he gave a, like a good enough reason for that, other than I'm letting them go. Well, the problem was very veiled to begin with to say they're letting them go. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. there, there's bits and pieces. Uh, he was broken. I put them together. Now I can let set him free. You know, for uh, I don't know. But which what does one that mean, though? Oh, like, you can mean whatever you want it to mean. It's supposed to be cryptic. It's supposed it's, to be cryptic. Yeah. It's supposed to know. Fill in the hole. Sometimes you don't like to be told everything at the Amen. end of the movie. Did Amen. the did the top Fill really spin hole, at the Amen. end of interception? Interception? Intercept? Inter? Inter? Inception. <laughs> Thank you. Inception. Okay. I feel like though if you want to be cryptic, you have to at least know the purpose. And and I I just don't get that impression whatsoever. No. I feel like they're just making it up week after week. So I, either way, um, so th- other than that, I I think we're missing the big big thing uh, that's coming up here, uh, the, which is of course the, the on the pre-show it's going to be the return of Fandango. Yeah. <laughs> With Rosa Mendez. With Rosa yeah. Mendez. And and. Bad News Barrett. And yeah, Bad News yeah. Barrett, yes. Yes. I'm more excited for the pre-show now than anything. This is this is the best gonna be the best pre-show since the We L C match. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and 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 the pose off between Booker T, Alex Riley, and Byron Saxon. What? Wait, what? Yeah, they're what? having a pose down. Why? On the pre show. It's Why? been um, <laughs> I don't know. Have you guess, have you Alex Riley like challenged Booker T to the pose down and then somehow Byron Saxon got involved in it. Yeah, they're like hyping this on like that wrestling, other wrestling podcast I was listening to. Has anyone watched in recent weeks the, uh, recent months, the uh, Raw pre-show and what it's become? I've seen clips of it. And it's, um, it's not good. It's not, it's, it's not terribly good. Yeah, it's, um, it's them sitting in the studio making wild predictions. You know? Yeah, yeah. Want to talk about Bray, like Bray Wyatt filling in for material? They have to fill in for. Oh a Oh my God, do they? Yes, they do. Because sometimes, like you know, I'll watch, I'll watch, caught up on my Walking Dead or Doctor Who or John Oliver or whatever. And I have nothing else to watch for like the forty-five minutes before Raw comes on. So I'm like, okay. And this is like the only thing in the week that I watch at a time, and I don't know how to deal with it. Okay. Um. So I just like, uh, you know. Sorry, wife. I want to put on the network because I can't think of anything else to put on because the news is fucking depressing. Um, yeah. And we put on the network and 
and it, that's what happens. And 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 I, I don't understand what ha- it makes. It makes the rest of Raw seem better. I just got. You all right? Four, I just <laughs> I, I, I had to count how many words. I just got four words for you, so sorry. What's that? Ducky, ducky, quack, quack. Uh, <laughs> no, did you say ducky, ducky, quack, quack? No, shucky, ducky. Quack. I don't know, but they got some really good WWEshop.com deals during it. Um, uh, when's that shirt coming out? Never. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> never in a day. They're, oh, they're, it's out there somewhere. The 999 shirts out. Might as well. Somebody made one. Did you hear? Did you guys hear? Not to change the subject, but did you guys Whoa, hear? Please, please. What happened? What happened at the um, WrestleMania pre-sale party? No. no. They wanted Booker T to do a spinner Oh, I've seen this. He couldn't do the spinner because he was like rehabbing something, his shoulder, I think, or something. Something he couldn't do it for some reason. Then he asked um who was it? Tyler Breeze. Oh no, they asked Wade Barrett to do it. He couldn't do it because he was rehabbing his shoulder. <laughs> They asked. Oh, Dan O'Brien was the second one in line. He couldn't do it because he was rehabbing his shoulder. So Tyler Breeze stepped up and did the spinner Rooney. <laughs> I was. I, I heard it was. It was. It was gorgeous. <laughs> what the <Yeah>. hell? <laughs> That's a good book of the <laughs> Tell wow. me he did not just do that spinner Rooney. On that note, if there's nothing else to bring up, yeah. tell me, what did you guys Wait, like? Wait, no, there is one thing to bring oh, up. Oh, what's, what's up, Amit? Riz. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I was Riz. hoping to avoid oh, this. Oh, buddy. Oh. I'm so Ooh, sorry for your loss. It's know, okay, can Riz. We know, can we know that nothing is confirmed? No, it's confirmed. Go in WWE. Yeah, it's confirmed. Com. It's confirmed. Did they, they, they release, like, an actual news statement about it, or...? No, they didn't release anything no. yet. I mean, he's, Brad Maddox. Brad Maddox is is. He's you know, been on the alumni. Brad Maddox is a great colleague. I know. He's a world champion. Damn it! It's, it's be he's okay, been a buddy. referee. They he's said, a referee. They said Brad Maddox has been on the alumni page since he uh, got fake fired. So he he's still with the company. We think. Yeah, so Greg Kelly allegedly got moved to the alumni page, uh, but nothing has been officially announced. It's gonna, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Man, he just became a citizen of the United States. Yeah, and they're kicking him out. I just wanted one more Punjabi prison match. Just yeah, <laughs> we only had the one. Is it too much to ask? Oh, no, we had two. No, we had two. Sadly, we had two. We had two. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen to them. The Punjabi prison match was awesome. <laughs> oh, somebody's gonna watch. Everybody, go watch a Punjabi pr- prison match on WWE Network. Your your match with Kane and Batista was amazing. What? <laughs> Listen to them. What? When? Great American Bash. Oh. When they actually wanted to use WCW pay per view names. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, are okay. yeah, we? Besides Riz. <laughs> Are we sad? Are we upset? Um, a little bit. He was a part of the company. It was like, hey, that's Craig Ali. Don't get in that crunch somebody hey. and put somebody over. Hey, I don't one know. That at one time. I'm going to miss his non-knees. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? What? I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss John Cena uh, telling him to be a human doorstop. <laughs> I got this. God, I got this, guys. On that note, what'd you learn from wrestling this week, Gaiman? Oh fuck! Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, God, I learned from wrestling this week that um, apparently bunnies hump people, according to Michael Cole. Like, he, like his response was that. His response was that's what bunnies do, right? What was that? Yeah. Goodbye, PG era. Goodbye, you know, if, if the bunny is who allegedly the bunny is, then goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. I was probably waiting for that to happen, too. The, oh. goodbye, the, good the bunny thing is getting LGBT so community. weird. And I don't like I don't like Dark Adam Rose. He Dark Adam Rose is weird. He has yeah. a heel beard. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not so, down with dark. And more eye, like, and his eye and more eye eyeliner. Yeah, it's way too early to do evil Adam Rose. Unless this turns into he just like cracks and turns into Leo, Leo Kruger. I'm. Uh, they, I, I said it before. They missed their opportunity with that Oculus mirror. They could have had Leo Kruger looking back at him in the mirror. I'm with you. It would have been like like they could have switched them back and forth. I'm with you on that one. Hmm. But so, certainly, certainly. So, uh, what about you, LB? What'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I, I've somehow lost my ability to stay awake through Raw. Mm. <laughs> I, just, I can't do it. I, I try. I really do, but I either fall asleep like halfway through and then like wake up for the end, or I'm just fucking out. It happened again this week. I don't. I, I just, it did happen. It did happen. We. We were very silent for you. I can't know what to do. <laughs> My cats are this fighting. Is why, me. This is this is why usually around nine thirty, I brew some coffee. It's like you're watching a marathon. It's, it kind of like is. You're doing a marathon like a uh, extra life, <laughs> and you're just making. I, I tend to do the same thing. Oh, yeah. I try to brew coffee yeah, I, before I get to the mayhem show. But here. I can't. I, if I drink coffee at nine thirty at night, I'll be awake. I'll be awake all night. Listen, yeah, listen. What do you bed. want to accomplish? Do you want to watch Raw or do you want to get sleep for work the next day? If Lunchbox has liquids after nine thirty, what's the bet? That's true. That's very true. <laughs> and Sorg, uh, based on the way Raw's been the past few weeks, uh, I'm kind of iffy on that one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like Kevin's cousin in, in Home Alone. <laughs> wow, Bobby, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned once again, Damian Mizdow stole the show during that yeah. tag team match. He is the driving force of Raw. And I also learned that um, I will not complain about uh, most of Raw's guest hosts because I really complained about Grumpy Cat, and he was aw- or she was awesome. And then they s- punched me in the face with a surprise uppercut from Cesaro. And, and said that Larry the Cable Guy is hosting next week. And I melted down, and I, I, I fine. went to a bad I place. Mean, think about it. I, I mean, this is the guy. 90% of the people in that hangout, once they saw the flannel, it wasn't even – It wasn't yeah. even. It it was, wasn't it was even a war. We the knew. Larry the Cable Guy. It was like, oh, uh, no. It was like a slow motion. I'm you telling you guys. Happening. I mean, no, this no, is the no, guy. Don't try to don't try to put your 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 agenda on us, sword. That Larry the Cable Guy is actually Larry funny. No, Larry, no, Larry the Cable no. Guy was so good. He's the guy that replaced The Rock in Tooth Fairy Two. I would <laughs> rather have I would rather have the movie with Jim Carrey, the Cable Guy, hosting Raw. The the video, a VHS copy of it. A VHS copy. A VHS wow. copy of it. I hate that movie. Jim Carrey's worst movie. I'm sorry. Continue. Uh, um, uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. No. I think Cable, Cable Guy has has some redeeming value. I didn't like it when I was a kid. He doesn't have redeeming qualities. He has redeeming qualities. Yeah. You're Larry the Cable Guy? No. Worst. Why do you Larry. like terrible things? I, yeah. What? Did you like Dumb and Dumber? Well, kind of. Oh, original Dumb and Dumber. Kind of. It was, it was yeah. fine. Sword, you have to be honest. I like anyway, Sword, than Dumb and Dumber. you have to be honest with us. Are you a Jeff Dunham I mean, fan? What? Okay, what? Am I what? You have to be honest. Oh, a Jeff man. Dunham fan. I, Am I, I a Jeff this. Dunham fan? Uh, you I enjoyed some Dev, Jeff Dunham. What? I, I did enjoy some Jeff Dunham. Oh, my oh, God. Fucking oh my hell, God. Sword. But I was watching it with the in-laws. I quit. All right, I'm done. What? I quit. What? What? Where's everybody going? Bye. Where's everybody going? What's yeah. happening? I can only go this far. I'm tethered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sorg, you want you want me to go next? Riz, since what'd you, you learn this since week? You don't know since you don't like. Say, Aiden like left. Things. Aiden turned his camera off. It's he's done. I don't, I think we just canceled the other show. <laughs> I'm I'm back. I can only go so. Far. Um, I'm gonna say this right now. Uh, I I saw two minutes of the freight train DVD that. I, that, that was kickstarted and successfully kickstarted. Oh my! Um, it's very moving, and I, I can't wait to watch the whole thing. And also, I get a T-shirt out of it. Um, 
I'll be I'll be doing maybe a review for it on here or maybe do something on the Mam Show page if Sorg allows me to. Um, but it it looks amazing from what I saw for the first two minutes. Okay. Uh, and I'm I'm proud that I donated fifty bucks for this. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Do, do, do whatever you want on the Mayhem show. You have access, man. You can do a review, whatever. You guys do already I? do, like, Kali watch parties and stuff. Hmm. That hey, that's, pr- that's on his oh, oh, I thought you meant, like... No, I mean, I mean like, the actual site, or Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, let's go and do it. Do it, guys. I learned <laughs> that my favorite I thing... I like thing, Sorg. No. My favorite thing... Get her is done. is 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 sick days with WWE Network. Yeah, just being able Get to like my 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 just drag my sick ass down to the couch, boot up the Xbox, hit play. After I finally loaded up the <laughs> WWE Network app, and just let it go, and find out like where the journey takes me between my cold medication you know taking me in and out of consciousness you from believe one, you were WrestleMania from, 3 didn't from you? one from one like from from the middle of one glorious documentary to another countdown like like from from Rick Flair versus uh to, to the dream versus uh, to right in the middle of a Matt Hardy documentary it was such a wild ride and i recommend it and and this is what i lived in for like 3 days straight Ric Flair wrestled a dream. He wrestled a dream. And then they gave it polka dots. In, in a dream? In a dream. No, rivalries. I, 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 I oh, watched yeah, about I half of rivalries. That, yeah. I don't know. I, can't, I, can't, I couldn't. Every time I sat down to watch it, I, I couldn't stay awake through it. And it dozed off again because I was taking the good stuff. Uh, guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show, once again, <laughs> remind stuff, you, you tweet your well, friends, let them know about that. the show. With the uh, hashtag get WMS, get her uh, done, get WMS, uh-huh. uh, and uh, the winner. If we like your tweets, we're gonna gather them all up, gather them all up next week, uh, before the show. Just like meme him show, you'll get Do the it. best of AJ Styles volume two in IWC, courtesy of Pittsburgh Wrestling.com. Uh, you can also please drop a line, check out our friends. Uh, SliceOnBroadway.com, BasicSickness.com that does our theme music here. I forgot that. We deleted the notes for the outro for this one. I need to fix that. Uh, you can also try, uh, check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Maybe the Riz will have some articles up there. Maybe not. Also, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, YouTube. Look up uh, Mayhem Show. I think in general you'll find everything. Indie Mayhem Show. Our uh, uh, WWE Raw wrap-up is there. Uh, our Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed. that gives you everything. Wrestling Game Show, which has been hilarious. Um, and, uh, our, uh, and also, if you're interested in participating in that, uh, Fabius Prizes also can be had there. So please uh, hit up. Uh, good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Good times. If you're interested in that, or if you want to submit an email for us for next week. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Ciro learned that there is a Matt Hardy documentary. Yes. Actually, there's one on Jeff and, and Matt. They're both called Twist of Fate, and and they each get one, I think. That's are, you sure, are you sure that's just not... Or it's my fever dream. I don't know. Look it up on the network. Look it up on the network. Uh, you can also drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0 or join us here live every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Like you, Ciro. I see Hi, you. Ciro. I see Hi. you. Hi, Ciro. I see you, Ciro. Hello. Hi. You're, you're a close third in this one. You can also support the show. Please have patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show or pro wrestling tees.com slash WMS. Some great stuff going on there uh so with that guys thanks a lot uh the entire crew at the e riz at bobby f j town at amen to please at uh dj lunchbox i'm at sorgatron uh mayhem out this show is a member